Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free and the pro plugin for the WP Media folders. This plugin is going to help you create different folders under the WordPress media folder. So this plugin will help you organize all the WordPress media files in different folders. So you can create different folders. So here I'm on the WordPress dashboard and you can see all the media files here. And here I have created different folders such as WooCommerce and under WooCommerce I have different folders such as accessories, mugs, shirts. So I have organized all the media files inside these folders. So if I want to add any shirts image to the website then I'm going to select this folder. So the uploaded image will go directly to the shirts folder. It is not going to change the URL structure of the media files. It is going to create only the virtual folders inside the main media folder. So it's not going to change the URL structure. So you can use all the images while inserting into the post or pages. So this is only for your convenience to add the images into different folders and organize them properly. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And first we are going to install the free WP Media Folders plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for WP Media Folders. You will see different options. I'm going to install this plugin, Cat Folders WP Media Folders. This is going to help you organize and manage your files with WordPress media folders. So click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin has been activated. Here at the end, you will see the option cat folders. Click on it. So this is a free version and I do not see any settings here. So leave it as it is. Let's go to media. So this is the new look of the media folder. Here you will see all the images and documents that are uploaded to this website. And here you will see we have only one folder that is all files and under that uncategorized folder. Now here you can create a new folder. Okay, let me name it as shirts. I'm going to organize the images, the shirts images into this folder. Click on save. So I've created a folder here called as shirts and I'm going to add some images there. So I can select this image. You can create bulk select. I'm going to select this one. And let's use these images. So I'm going to drag them and put it in this folder. So you will see all the shirts are now in this folder. Now we have another product category that is mug. So I'm going to create a new folder mug I'm going to select these images move it inside this folder so all the mugs are in this folder we have some shirts option here so I'm going to drag them on in this folder let's have another folder accessories And I can add these images inside this folder. You can see the main folder that is all files. And under that we have all these folders and we have sorted some images in these folders. So this is how you can organize the images and documents inside the main media folder. Now if I go to a new page, let's try to add image. So I'm going to pages. Let me open one demo page. I'm using Elementor on this website. I want to add image, so I'm going to drag the image element here and look for the image. So here you will see all the images are available. It's not like that all the images are gone to some folders and you cannot access them. So I'm going to use this one. Or oh, let's try to upload it. Click on it, upload. 
and here you will see the option if you want to upload this new image to any one of the folders you can, you can simply select the folder here so i'm going to select accessories folder even though it's not accessories image i'm going to select it now here you will see it's the file structure of this image is not changed it, it will not show anywhere accessories folder it's going to the same media folder it will be saved in the same media folder however it is sorted into the accessories folder now if i go back to accessories and refresh it right now there are seven images now you will see eight images so this new image is added to this accessories folder now i have the premium version of this plugin so i'm going to install the pro version so let's go to plugins and click on add new let me show you the website from where i have got this plugin this is the website i'll give you the link in the description box if you want to buy this plugin you can use my link this is the name of the plugin cat folders you will see all the features here unlimited folders sort options fully compatible you can create subfolders also simply drag and drop extra filtering and ordering smart operations higher productivity you will see some screenshot and this is the pricing plans one website yearly cost is 79 dollars if you have big website with many videos many media files then definitely this plugin is going to help you organize all the media files you will see some question and answers here so you can visit the website and see all the features i'll give you the link in the description box so let's go back to wordpress dashboard and upload the plugin i have already downloaded it so i'm going to install it now click on activate plugin so the old one this is the free version i'm going to delete this one and this is the pro version go to settings so here you will see different options media folder access user based folder folder permissions if you want to assign permissions you can use this one let's go to license and let me enter the license key all right so i have entered the license key and it is verified let's go back to media you will see all the folders here now if i want to add a subfolder i can create a subfolder also so using the pro version i can create a subfolder so here you can see under accessories i can create a new one let's create a new one name it as woocommerce save it and i want to drag it under woocommerce so all the three folders are under woocommerce we have created subfolders under woocommerce so there are many different features added to the pro version if you want to see all the features you can visit the website and see all the features of the pro version this is how you can organize all the wordpress media files in different folders under the main wp media folder so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.